Hi everyone, my name is Scott Brady and welcome to my course Getting Started with SAML 2. I am the identity lead at identityserver.com and you'll often find me blogging on scottbrady91.com. You'll hear the common phrase that SAML is dead, but we have been saying this for almost a decade and it hasn't gone anywhere. SAML continues to be one of the most used single sign-on protocols around especially within large enterprises and government institutions. In this course, we are going to learn how the SAML protocol works and what to look for in a modern SAML implementation. First, we'll explore the basics of single sign-on and how the SAML protocol enables this. We'll then dig into the protocol in detail, understanding the various SAML messages, binding types, and metadata. And finally, we'll look at how to take a protocol like SAML and modernize it with security best practices. In this course, we'll be focusing on how the majority of SAML implementations work these days, what I like to call modern SAML. We won't be covering the entirety of the specification. By the end of this course, you'll have all the required knowledge to debug and integrate a SAML service provider or identity provider. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn SAML with the Getting Started with SAML course at Pluralsight. <laughs>